Hey guys, welcome back to Math is Simple. And today in this video, we'll be learning how to solve equations with fractions. And we've been doing a, quite a few videos on this because this seems to be a concept that it struggles with students who are learning algebra and are in eighth grade or seventh grade um, middle school taking these tough courses and solving equations. So let's go ahead and get started. Our first equation is x over 2 plus x minus 3 over 5 equals 3. So once again, when we're solving these equations, we are going to find the least common denominator and then multiply that common denominator by both sides. So we have a 2 and a 5. So the common denominator is going to be 10. So we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by 10. So here we go. Our next step we're going to do distributive property. Now, 10 times x is going to be 10 times the x all over 2 plus, here we go, 10. Now, we see that we have two terms in the numerator, and we're going to treat these terms together. So when we go multiply 10 times the quantity of x minus 3, so I'm going to write it like this, 10 times the quantity of x minus 3 all over 5 equals 30 because 3 times 10 is 30. Now our next step we see how we're going to simplify 10 divided by 2 is 5, 5x. So 10x divided by 2 is 5x plus we are going to have 10 divided by 5 is 2. And that 2 is then going to be multiplied by x minus 3. So once again, 10. And let me go ahead and show you that 5 goes into 5 one time. 5 goes into 10 two times. So that's how we're going to get our 2 times whatever's in this quantity. And then that's going to equal 30. So our next step is bring down the 5x plus we're going to do the distributive property 2 times x and then 2 times a negative 3. So that 2 times x is 2x and 2 times a negative 3 is a negative 6. And then we're going to bring down our 30. So let's go ahead and combine like terms. So 5x plus 2x is going to give us a 7x minus 6 equals 30. I see now I just have my two-step equation. So this has been a multi-step equation, keeping our equal signs in line with each other. And so I'm going to add 6 to both sides. And I'm going to write it right up here because I'm running out of room. So I have 7x equals 36. Going ahead and getting rid of that coefficient because it's attached to a multiplication. So I'm going to divide by 7 on both sides. Therefore, I'm going to have x by itself. And my final answer is going to be 36 over 7. Go ahead and keep your answer as a fraction, and um, there you go. Let's go ahead and try another problem. Let me go ahead and erase this one. We have 2x. We have 2x divided by 5 plus the quantity of x plus 1 divided by 3 equals 4. Wow, so here we go. Let's find our least common denominator to multiply both sides with. 5 and 3, the least common denominator is 15. So we're going to multiply by 15 over 1. And then we're going to multiply this side by 15 as well over 1. Then when we put them over 1, it doesn't change the values at all. So here we go, 15 times 2x becomes 
15 times the 2x. I'm going to add this step in here for beginners so you guys can see what we're doing when we do the distributive property. 15 times 2x. And then when we go ahead and distribute the second term, plus 15 times the quantity of x plus 1 all over 3. And 4 times 15 is 60. All right, so 5 goes into 5 one time, and 5 goes into 15 three times for our next step. So really, I'm going to go, what is 3 times 2x? And 3 times 2x gives me 6x. And then I go ahead and look again. 3 goes into 3 one time, and 3 goes into 15 five times. So I'm going to do distributive property, 5 times x is 5x. And then 5 times the positive 1 is a positive 5. And then we're going to bring down our 60. So man, there was a lot of stuff that we did here. I kind of combined two steps. I hope that was clear enough for you. But let's go ahead in our once we simplify the 5x and the 6x, we'll get 11x plus 5 equals 60. Let's go ahead and subtract or add a negative 5 to both sides, which will give us 11x equals 55. And then I'm going to write, rewrite this because there's a lot of steps. There's a lot of steps going on in here. So we need to make sure we know distributive property. We need to make sure we know our inverse operations. We know how to um, isolate the variable. And we just take one step at a time. All right, so we have 11x equals 55. We're going to divide both sides by 11. Therefore, x equals 5. And we are done. Man, that was a challenge, but I think you're up for the challenge. So keep on looking at each step before moving on to the next step that you don't miss a negative sign or you don't miss some type of distributing. And then just keep practicing. Find other videos on Math is Simple YouTube channel and you are going to be an expert in no time. Great job, you guys.